Hi, this is Mayor David Genshaw, and we're coming to you again to bring you a local update of what's going on here in the Seaford community. So first, we're going to get an update from our hospital, and uh, we'll ask Penny Short to, to bring us up to date. Penny? Hello, Seaford community. I just wanted to touch base and let you know what's happening here at the hospital. We have, over the past several weeks, seen a decline and then a leveling off of the COVID patients need to be admitted to the hospital. Because of that, we, along with the other Delaware hospitals, have decided it's time to start back up with procedures and surgeries that were uh, postponed prior to the virus coming to the community. This week, we have started outpatient surgery as well as colonoscopies and endoscopies, and then we'll be moving to sur surgeries that will require patients to stay overnight. That said, we have many safety precautions in place to keep everyone safe. You will see uh, screenings that are done at the entrances of the building for all staff and patients entering, as well as anyone coming to the facility needs to wear a mask. And we have extensive enhanced cleaning precautions that are being done on a daily basis here in the organization. One other thing that I wanna mention that there's some concern. I've heard stories about patients that are delaying care uh, with symptoms such as chest pain or signs of stroke. Please know that it is safe to come to the hospital and especially if you're having those types of symptoms, I want to make sure you're not delaying care. So during this time where we're reopening, please reconnect with your healthcare system, contact your primary care provider. We're safe, we're open for, for business and we're here for you, thank you. Well, it's exciting the work that our hospital has done. I know we, uh, we all feel blessed to have them here in our community. We really are fortunate. And it's great to see the turn in the hospital opening back up for normal business. So that's a good thing. Next, we'd like to ask Corey to give us an update of what's going on with the Seaford School District. Hi, this is Dr. Corey Nicholas, Superintendent of the Seaford School District with some updates. Meal delivery service for uh, tomorrow, Friday. We will be delivering food for Friday's lunch, Saturday's breakfast, Saturday's lunch, Sunday's breakfast, and also for Monday, Memorial Day's breakfast. Our food schedule for next week, Monday, uh, May 25th. Since that is a holiday, we will not be having uh, meal delivery on that day. But next week, deliveries will be Tuesday, May 26th, which will include Tuesday's lunch and Wednesday's breakfast. Wednesday, May 27th will be the normal schedule and Friday, May 29th will also be the normal schedule. Last week, as a district, we have served over 50,000 meals and this is something that we're extremely proud of and I do want to give a shout out to our uh, food nutrition team for the tremendous work they've been doing all year. Also, community members, I hope that our families are enjoying our One Book, One Seaford initiative. Uh, this initiative really helps the school district and our families stay connected through reading activities. And remember, to find those reading activities, you can go on seafordbluejays.org. Also, kindergarten registration, that is opened, but this year we are doing some things differently. Because of our pandemic, we are working through an online registration process. And again, if you go to seafordbluejays.org, every school website has a link titled Enrollment and Registration. Online registration forms are available on that website. Families of entering, entering kindergarten students should complete the online registration forms now. Uh, please spread this word to uh, community members, your neighbors, etc. And please remember uh, to register, the student must be five years of age by August 31st. Last but surely not least, our seniors. Uh, Dr. Horsey, the principal of Seaford High School, has been working closely with the class of 2020 to set up and arrange graduation activities and events. Once these events are finalized, we will share them out with our community members but it is very important to us that we highlight our seniors during this, this tough time. Last, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. Again, Corey, can't uh, thank you enough for the updates uh, and what you've done for our Seaford students. We really appreciate you and all the teachers and your staff for what they've been doing. 
Here at City Hall, things are continuing to move along. One thing that this uh, virus did bring about was an opportunity to sort of move the confines of City Hall out into the open by streaming our, our meetings. Uh, even my mom watched our last budget meeting online, so we're reaching people that maybe would have never come to a meeting. I think that's, that's great, so more can be involved, more can ask questions about what's going on here at uh, City Hall. Also, June 1st is coming, and we're going to see businesses start opening up. Uh, the Division of Delaware Small Business put out a little checklist of 10 things you need to do to sort of prepare, broadly prepare to open your business back up. You can get this checklist sheet from www.delbiz.com. We encourage you to go there and get this so you can be best prepared to see what they're stating or some of the good guidelines for you to do to be ready to open up back for business. Again, we appreciate all of you. So glad you're safe and we look forward to the summer months and opening back up.